Alex Wood now available? <clears throat> Does anybody ever drink these? I just leave them here. <laughs> <laughs> you got a little kit? First questions from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead. Alex, uh, there are a lot of revisionist history storylines about the 2017 World Series. One of them is, as well as you pitched in the series, you should have started Game 7. Uh, was that discussed, and what do you think about that? Um, I mean, it's in the past. It's what I think about it. Uh, I mean, it was there was nothing ever discussed with me. I mean, we traded for you, Darvish, for a reason. He was pretty much unhittable until the World Series, you know, any, that was a great team we played in the Astros. Uh, you know, they got to him the first time. I mean, he's, he's a horse. I mean, you, you ride or die with that guy. Uh, me and Kirsch were available, uh, you know, af, after that and things shook out the way they did. And so it's hard to really look back and say, hey, I, I should have started, Clayton should have started, whatever it may be, uh, when you got, got a guy like you, Darvish, uh, sitting there in your rotation. Going into this postseason, individually speaking, were you thinking, you know, if I pitch well enough, I can increase my role in this staff? Yeah, you know, I mean, it was it was nice to get back in there uh, against a great team in the Braves. Uh, you know, when you get to this point in the year, you know, all bets are off. You know, when you get your opportunity to go in and uh, throw up a zero or, or get your team to the next inning so I have a chance to win, you know, I, I just am trying to contribute, uh, you know, and. I think my role is increasing as we've, we've gone forward and uh, I feel pretty good. And so hopefully uh, I'll continue to have some more opportunities. If this gets to a game six, uh, looks like the Dodgers will have to do a bullpen game again, or they could turn to somebody who's got experience as a starting pitcher like you. Are you thinking of that at all? No, I'm not thinking about that at all. I mean, we're, we're taking it one game at a time. We got a, a really talented team uh, across the way in the Rays. Uh, you know, and for, for as much as people have been talking about whatever they're calling yesterday, a bullpen game, whatever it may be, I mean, there's plenty of guys we could have we could have started and let them go a little bit longer. I mean, that, that was what we thought had the best chance to win, win the game, you know, and sometimes it doesn't always turn out the way you plan it. But, I mean, we felt good going into yesterday with, with the guys we had ready and available uh, to take down some innings and give us a chance to win. And we were right there at the end, came up a little bit short, uh, you know, we, we uh, they, they had some big hits, uh, you know, and they did what they needed to do behind Snell. And so now we got us a series. Uh, it'll be a fun rest of the way. Thank you, Alex. Next question from Harry Castillo. Go ahead. Hey, Alex, you mentioned you're feeling pretty good. Just wondering how 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 are you feeling? Um, do you feel like you're actually get, you're getting back to where you want to be, where you need to be, where you really haven't been maybe all year? Yeah, I mean, it was it was tough in the beginning, you know. He had the short spring training, uh, shoulder gets a little fatigued and, and inflamed and missed the first couple couple of weeks and come back and, you know, get put, get put in the bullpen. I mean, I mean, I, I think it's pr it's pretty obvious. We have we have five guys that would pretty much be number ones in any, in any rotation in baseball. Uh, and not only that, guys that were throwing the hell out of the ball during the regular season. So um, it was something that after the first two or three weeks went by, I knew that was potentially going to be uh, my role was to get put in the bullpen. And. You know, I told you guys when that happened that I came here for one reason and one reason only, and that was to win a World Series. And we're right here uh, on the cusp of doing something special, something that hadn't been done in a long time, and I, I'm just really grateful to, to be a part of it and be contributing. Uh, a lot of guys, including your manager, have said, you know, they feel like this is the year. They're very confident. Um, why? What, why, are you, why are you guys so confident um, this year um, saying, you know, this is the year for us? We got a pretty talented group. <laughs> you know, I, I mean – I think it's obvious, uh, you know, at least in our opinion, that we're, we're the most talented team in baseball. Uh, you know, so you start there. I mean, top to bottom, bullpen, starting pitching, the lineup, you know, on any given day, facing a righty, lefty, whatever it may be. I mean, we feel really good about our chances about, our, about and about our talent. You know, I think going into that Brave series, you know, it's been a crazy year. You know, coronavirus, no fans, shortened season. Don't start till end of July, whatever whatever it was. And this team is so talented that we were just never really tested, you know, the whole season. We just showed up and out, out talented everybody every day, and it was easy. You know, we never had much of a challenge the regular season through the first first two two rounds, and then you get punched in the face, go down two nothing, uh, and it's like whoa, like what just what just happened? And we had just been out talenting everyone the whole 
entire season. And then we really didn't know what we were made of, who we were truly as a, as a team. You know, you get down to nothing and you see how they respond. Well, now, now we know who we are. You know, not only are we the most talented team, but, uh, you know, we've, we've got that swagger, you know, and we're here to win a World Series and, and take a title back to L.A. Are, are the Rays the best team you guys have faced? And you think that that was that the preparation, what happened last series was necessary for this one? Uh, the Rays are a terrific team. I mean, it's, it's, it's no coincidence that they're the one seed and made their way through their division, had a great regular season and great playoffs playoffs so far. Um, you know, I think uh, only seeing them for two games, they're, they're a great team. I, I would be hard-pressed to say that they're the best team that we've seen so far up to this point. I, I think the Atlanta Braves probably the second-best team I've ever played in the playoffs in my entire career behind the Red Sox in 18. The Braves were a terrific team. Uh, and so as the series unfolds and we see more of the Rays, you know, That'll be a conversation for later, uh, you know, when you look look back and, and compare the opponents that we face throughout the postseason. But, I mean, we knew they are going to be a great team. You know, their strength is their bullpen. You know, they they know their identity individually and as a team. Uh, and they all do their jobs really, really well. And so it's going to be a great series, and uh, we're, we're excited for the challenge. Thanks, Alex. Next question is from Ron Kavner. Go ahead. Hey, Alex, it seems like your stuff is, is – ticked up a little bit, um, you know, especially the later the, the playoffs have gone on. Just after dealing with that shoulder fatigue, do you find yourself ever kind of looking up and seeing, you know, how fast the pitch went or, or anything like that? Uh, they got our metrics on the board, so I'll look up at that sometimes. I mean, I mean, my velo, since I've been back, my velo has been, been pretty good in the playoffs. And also, I mean, down the stretch of the end, you know, I thought my stuff was, was pretty good. It was a definite adjustment, you know, short chain training, missing the first couple of weeks getting thrown back into the bullpen, a role that I'm not super like familiar with, you know, uh, it's been a while as far as throwing back to backs or having like a significant role in, in the bullpen. So I feel like I've, I'm starting to settle in and uh, you know, there's nothing like October baseball. So it's been a lot of fun. Uh, you're a guy that, you know, you've, you've dealt with to kind of switch from starter to reliever. And then, you know, especially in the playoffs, not necessarily knowing what a, a role is going to be um, for, for guys who haven't dealt with, things like that, guys like Dustin and Tony who are kind of going through this for the first time. What is the hardest part of that? Oh, man, I think it's uh, it's by individual. I mean, at this point, you know, you're, in a, you're playing in a World Series, you know, it's win or, win or go home. And so, uh, you know, the, I think both those guys had experience in the pen last year. You know, they've they've known that they in the playoffs, they haven't had a super concrete role as far as, a, hey, you're starting today. Hey, you're going to be bulk guy today. Hey, you're going to throw leverage inning for us today. Um, and, but they both are very high confident guys. They have incredible stuff, you know, uh, and I think at this point, it's just them going out there and, and attacking, knowing, knowing that their best stuff is better than whoever they're facing. And so, uh, you know, I think that moving forward, uh, you know, we're going to see a lot of great things from both those guys and they'll be an integral part, uh, as they have all year, uh, and hopefully us bringing a championship back to LA. Thanks, Alex. Thanks, Alex. Thanks everybody.